So if you have a knocking sound coming from your engine, I thought I'd go over the causes of this and how you go about finding out what is causing the sound. And so first of all, be sure it's coming from the engine and not something external like a broken motor mount, because I'm gonna be talking about the engine itself, not something external. A broken motor mount will usually make a noise when you go to put it in gear, and quite often you can see the whole engine move about. And so this is gonna be about the engine itself. And when you get a knock from the engine, it could be two different things. It could be a mechanical knock, which basically means something's broken. And it can also be a detonation knock. And a detonation knock basically means that the cylinder is firing before it's supposed to. And so the air and gas is supposed to fire at a set time. And if it doesn't do this, if it fires before it's supposed to, then it could cause problems and it could cause a knocking sound. And this is called a detonation knock. And that's usually caused by timing. It can also be caused by a thing called carbon deposit. And that happens when the engine's aged and it has a lot of carbon deposits on top of the cylinder head. But usually when that happens, it'll be a very aged engine. And when you have carbon deposits quite often when you turn the key off the engine keeps running and so if your engine keeps running for a little bit after you shut it off then you likely have carbon deposits and that's something completely different but a detonation knock is usually caused by timing and so the first thing to do to help determine if you have a mechanical knock or a detonation knock is to get an OBD2 scanner and to scan the onboard computer for any possible error codes because a mechanical knock might not give you an error code but a detonation knock will so for example if you scan the onboard computer and you get a P0008 code then this is usually something to do with the, like a timing belt to slip the notch or something like that where the crankshaft and the camshaft aren't aligned up and so you'll know it's something to do with timing if you don't have an obd2 scan tool there's a lot of low cost obd2 scan tools out there for like 20 30 dollars a lot of automotive stores will even do scans for free but first thing to do if possible is to get an obd2 scan tool to read the onboard computer for any possible error code and so the first thing with the mechanical knock to listen for is going to be a rod knock and this is going to be on the lower half of the engine so it'll be down at the bottom part of the engine and it's going to be like a thud sound and it's going to speed up with the engine as you speed up the engine it'll speed up and like I said that's gonna be at the lower half of the engine the next thing is gonna be like the valves or the lifters and the valves will make more like a clacking ticking kind of sound quite often though the lifters they might make a lot of clacking sound and then they'll go away after the engine warms up but the main thing to try to listen for is if it's coming from the lower part of the engine or the top part of the engine because the top part of the engine is gonna point more to like a lifter or a valve while the bottom half is gonna point more to like like a rod knock and if you are getting a mechanical type of knock be sure to go check the oil be sure that it's at the correct level be sure it's not too dirty because this is the type of damage that low or dirty oil causes the engines so first thing to do if you think you have a mechanical knock is check your oil and so if you don't think it's a mechanical knock the next thing is going to be a detonation knock and like i said usually you can scan the onboard computer and it'll give you an error code that'll point to what it is and the causes of this is going to be something like a slip timing chain or like just old and it's either stretched or it's slipped a notch. It can also be caused by a bad crankshaft or camshaft position sensor. And in some cases, it can also be caused by a knock sensor, but usually a knock sensor will just prevent the knocking from happening since it can adjust the timing. So if the timing is being thrown off by something else, the knock sensor can report this back to the computer because it'll be reporting back knock sound. And so if the computer is being thrown off by a bad component, say like a bad crankshaft position sensor, the knock sensor can report this back to the onboard computer, which will try to make up for it. And so a knock sensor itself is not going to cause this noise but it might prevent it from happening and if it goes bad then it won't be able to prevent it but you will want to check other things since the cause will be something else the knock sensor is just there to help prevent these problems when it does happen and so that's basically it i just wanted to give a basic overview of what to check for if you get a knocking sound in your engine while it's idling if you have anything to add please comment down below if you have any questions ask me and i'll try to answer them if this video helps you please click like please click subscribe and have a good day